Welcome back you guys to another day of Vlogmas. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share Vlogmas Day number six, and today we're talking lunches. So this is my kickoff week to December, and then I pretty much realized that the kids are probably going to get something Christmas themed somewhat every day for their three weeks of school. I wanted to do something this week, like I said, to for a kickoff to the start of the December Christmas like feel and then the following week I'm going to do strictly all Christmas themed because I want to film that to get it up in time to share it with you guys so that gives you guys inspiration for your kids and then that last week is the week before school ends so you want to do it that week because that's the week where it's the most Christmassy kind of fun. So I'm probably going to do my best to do something somewhat themed every day. So that should give you guys tons of lunch inspiration if you're wanting to do any kind of themed lunches. So today for Mason, he is just taking a plain old peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But he is taking it in the shape of a gingerbread man. So... For my birthday, Jake had gotten me a couple of cookie cutters from the Dollar Tree. This was a four pack. It came with a heart for Valentine's Day, a star for 4th of July, a pumpkin for fall, and then a gingerbread man like for Christmas. So once I cut him, he didn't exactly look like a gingerbread man. So I used the Lily's baking chips, but they're small. So I was able to give the gingerbread man two eyes and three little buttons. I know they don't look perfect, right? I'm sorry. And then I used jelly and like a little toothpick to give the gingerbread man a smile. So I do have a couple of pieces left over of the peanut butter and jelly from like around him that once I show you guys this, I'm going to throw it in there for Mason so that he still kind of gets a full sandwich. And then his theme is, like I said, kind of red. So then I gave him a red apple. I gave him some of those everything snack factory pretzels. I gave him a red Annie's fruit snack. These are some of the Christmas Oreo cookies with the red frosting on the inside. He's taking a red raspberry rush go-go -Go blast applesauce. And then this is that green beginnings fruit punch and coconut water juice box that he is absolutely in love with. And then he, uh, he is taking a cheese stick and this is in the frozen. So it has Elsa and Olaf on it. And then this is for Jacob and I went more like just simple red and green for him, but I'm actually filming this on Sunday night. So I'm prepping ahead of time. So I have the Tupperware ready, my little red Tupperware, and he's got his green fork and he's taking a red meal. So this is the Main Street Kitchen in the ZD with a meat sauce. So it's the red that goes with the rest of his theme. And so down here, he has some broccoli and then that's fresh broccoli that he's been dying for. And then there is four of those Oreo cookies for Jake with the red frosting. And then this is a green Philadelphia dips with tortilla chips, jalapeno, and cheddar. Jake took this the last time and he really, really liked it. And then he has some green pickles down in here. And I wish I had his green fruit snacks. He only likes green and purple. This time I chose to get purple without thinking that I needed green for Christmas time. But use your imagination and let's pretend that this is the tropical fruit kind and that it's green. So the only thing I'm missing for Jacob besides heating this is I have my dishwasher set to go on delay. So it'll go while uh, we're sleeping tonight. And so when I wake up in the morning, I need to get the little dressing cup that's out of the dishwasher and fill it with some ranch dressing for him to have alongside of his broccoli. But that is it, you guys. That's it for day one of their kickoff to December. 
Okay, you guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and they're taking a hot lunch today, which means it's 10.30 in the morning. And once I finish filming this clip, I'm gonna pack it up and drop off lunch boxes so they have a piping hot lunch. So we'll start with Jacob. I just made a pasta salad with some leftover veggies that I needed to use up. So there's some red onion in there, celery, tomato, some elbows, mayo, salt, and pepper. So he has that. And then in this little cup is some ranch dressing because in here, sticking with some of our Christmas theme, we have some red cherry tomatoes and some green cucumbers. It's actually cute, it looks like a wreath with little tomatoes around it, super cute. <clears throat> in here is some fish sticks that I heated up for Jake in the air fryer and gave him some ketchup. That Kasori toaster oven makes it so easy for me to air fry something in the morning like i would never take my air fryer out to do that but these are like perfectly crispy just the way he likes them just pop the kids some fresh popcorn so that's jake's bag he has a string cheese not the frozen kind just a regular one and then here is one of those hostess cupcakes and i'm so glad that it's not a double pack i love that it's a single pack and here is his fork for his pasta salad so that's it for jake and then here is a mason boy so mason asked for a bagel so i toasted him up a bagel also in that toaster oven so super convenient put some butter on it wrapped it in foil so he'll eat his bagel and then here here is a cupcake for him. Again, I love that it's a single pack. He has a Chobani Gimme's in the See You Later Strawberry Yogurt, a Strawberry Lemonade Coconut Water Green Beginnings Juice Box. This is the Go Go Blast in the Raspberry Rush. He has a cheese stick, but it's Elsa from Frozen. Here is his popcorn, and he has a banana. I was going to get cute and glue some M&Ms on there and stuff and make it look like a Christmas tree, but Mama don't have time for that today. So this is what they're getting for their Tuesday lunch, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. 2.24 in the morning, you guys, and I am filming my lunch clips for day three of the week. Don't ask. So here is what Mason is taking, and I actually really enjoy when they're taking a cold lunch because I can pack it the day before. Unlike today when I had to pack it on the fly so that they can have something hot. So today is some boiled eggs. I actually made some hard boiled eggs today. So I cut two for Mason and salt and peppered them. And then he's taking a cheese stick. He has some of the zesty ranch veggie straws. His green organic fruit punch. He has a red Annie's fruit snack here. He has a organic Simply Balanced strawberry yogurt. It's the first time he's taking the Target one, so we'll see if he likes that. He's taking the last of the HEB Organics Apple Granola Bar. That's actually from Marissa's house. That's how long we've had those. Like, we don't go through snacks like you would think. So, still have one of those. That's the very last one. So, he's taking that, one of those little fudge brownies, and an orange that I made sure to peel for him, but I left it whole because he likes to peel the segments himself. So, that's it for Mason. And then here's Jake, and he also has like a Lunchable style. So, this uh, is something else that came out of my Variety Fun Box, just like the veggie ranch straws. So, this is a kettle cooked. New York cheddar. I would have given this to Daryl. He's not really one for the kettle cooked. It's a little too hard like chip for him. Um, but I feel like the New York cheddar would have been all of his style. So, but I did give that to Jake and then uh, gave him a little Black Forest organic gummy bear. He has some peanut butter in here with six crackers and I packed him a knife to spread. And then he has the last of the pickles that we have, a string cheese, a country Archer Farms beef stick, one of the little fudge brownies. I know he's going to like that. He does like the cosmic ones better than the nuts, but he'll have to deal. Ibotta wins when there's a rebate. And then he has four hard boiled eggs in here. I didn't cut them in half. He has a knife. He'll do that himself, but I salt and peppered them for him as well. So that is it guys for lunch on day three. All right guys. So I definitely am ahead of the game tonight. Look, it is only 1122 and I am putting together lunches. So I'm two hours ahead of last night, so that's progress, right? And it's cold lunches, so I can send them in the morning, hallelujah, and I don't have to drop anything off. So here is what Mason's taking. You know, I realized I told you guys I was gonna do something Christmassy themed every single day, and where did that go? Like, I think I lost the whole red and green or Christmassy theme like after Tuesday. So don't really listen to me, just enjoy the lunch clips if you enjoy them. Um, so these are the Annie's 
little like grams, but they have like chocolate, they have their honey gram. This is their new flavor, their birthday cake flavor. These are delicious. Like I ate one little one and wish that I could eat this stuff like I used to because mama would kill these. They are so, so good and they're organic. So you just can't beat that um, for, I think it was like 250 for the box at HEB. So really excited to give the kids them. I just opened the box to give them that. Uh, the kids are ch killing the cheese sticks lately. So uh, an Elsa cheese stick for Mason and then a raspberry fig bar. This is kind of like a red frozen theme, right? Um, and then a red apple and his red Annie's fruit snacks and then his fruit punch juice box. And this is one of these are actually apple sauces from Aldi that I left at my mother's and she sent them to me. So I'm like channeling, channeling my inner Aldi right now. I miss them so, so much. So this is their squeezable fruit blend, the apple multi-fruit. It's apples and peaches and strawberries. And the kids are gonna go bonkers because I'm sure they miss them. And for his main course, um, for the leftover bacon that my husband brought home from work, I made Mason a wrap. So inside of there is actually cream cheese smeared on the inside with everything but the bagel seasoning and then bacon and regular cheese. And you'll see why I did that because it's kind of a derivative of Jake's lunch, but that's all the flavors that Mason likes. So I think he'll really, really enjoy that. So that's what Mason's taking. And then here is Jacob's lunch. So I've made these a couple of times before. This is something out of the Southern Keto Cookbook, except I add the everything but the bagel seasoning, but it's just a cucumber sandwich. So I cut a bunch of cucumber rings. I put cream cheese, everything but the bagel seasoning, a quarter slice of cheddar, and then a piece of bacon. And I made him six of those little sandwiches. So he'll be able to eat that tomorrow. And then in here are his goodies. So he really enjoyed the peanut butter in yesterday's lunch, but I gave him crackers. Today I gave him pretzels to dunk in. So here's more peanut butter. And then just to conserve bags, I cannot wait until my Tupperware comes this weekend. I miss all of my little containers. Uh, so in this to conserve, there are some Duke sausages and then there is the snack factory pretzels that he can dunk in the peanut butter. And then he also has some of those Annie's birthday cake little cookies. And then he has his purple Annie's fruit snack. And then here is a chocolate chip cliff bar. I think he's actually really going to like this. I haven't gotten these kinds of cliff ones and gave it to him, but this came in variety fun. So I'm gonna give it a shot and hopefully he likes it. So that is it guys for today's lunch. The next time you guys see this, it'll be TGIF. Hooray you guys, we made it to Friday. It is 10.35 in the morning. I'm just about to send Daryl to drop off lunch boxes. Mason's lunch is at 10.50 and I just took his corn dog out of the toaster oven. So the stuff is piping hot. We have Franklin, our elf, visiting with us today. He brought the kids cereal and wrote TGIF and cereal along the stove, but Maya's already swooped in and eaten that. So I tried to finish off the week still with that red and green theme. I did the best that I could. I really wasn't prepared this week. I had so many thoughts in mind, but couldn't execute them. So popped one of those boxes of popcorn that I get from a Walmart and gave a bag to each of the kids. It's Friday, so I packed a little lunchbox note for Mason. I love you. Fun times ahead because we have an awesome weekend planned. Be good. Love mom. And the aide always reads him the notes I leave him, which is good. He's taking the last apple multi-fruit applesauce we have from Aldi. And then these three things are actually from last month's Variety Fun Box that my mom just sent me. So this is the Nature's Bakery Fig Bar, but this is the in the original fig. I can't get the big box of these, so he doesn't normally get that flavor. And then these Remy cookies, they always send, and my kids love them. And this is their grams, they're wholesome, delicious, and a cinnamon flavor, and they're non-GMO, and my, like I said, my kids really like them. So I packed him that, and then this also came in the Variety Fun Box, and that's the That's It Bar. So it's one apple and 12 strawberries, like, pushed into a fruit leather. So my kids like those, can't get anything better than that's like the freshest kind of fruit roll up it's like if you were to make it you know yourself so they like that and then here's his last of the green beginnings organic fruit punch and coconut water I have to go and find them today like it is a goal for me to find them again today so that I don't struggle with next week because he already told me this is literally 
the only ones he really likes. Uh, when I went to Chick-fil-A, I had a couple of ketchups left over from bringing food home for Daryl. And so I'm packing this for Mason for him to use for his corn dog instead of me, you know, filling a little cup. And then he's taking a banana. So plenty of stuff for Mace. And then this is what Jacob is taking. So he was a little disappointed that I did the red theme and gave him that ZD because he was dying for this white cheddar and bacon mac and cheese. You guys, you have to check out this mac Mac and cheese like he is absolutely obsessed with it he said like I hope if you're bringing my lunch up today and it's hot it's because it's gonna be that mac and cheese and then here is his green fork down here and then he has a beef stick from the variety fun box that I threw in here and then he has no more of his fruit snacks so I threw in a frozen one I hope it doesn't freak him out but they only have the red ones in the bin and those are the ones he doesn't like uh, when I was cleaning out the bin and putting in the variety fun snacks I found one last goldfish in the vanilla cupcake so I sent that to him for a sweet treat and then here is his popcorn and for his veggie I have one of these Dollar Tree containers with the green broccoli up top and then the red cherry tomatoes and then there inside in the cup is my ranch dressing so that is it guys for this week's lunch I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up remember next week's lunch video is going to come on the weekend but it's going to be your Christmas themed lunches solely so that'll be what you can use for ideas for that upcoming week for your kids in case you want to give them a Christmas themed lunch in that week before vacation all right guys I love you all so much I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.